Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet, and welcome back to another episode on the Kingdom Craft server with me, Ren Diggity Dog. Here we are inside of my so weed ass Kingdom Craft apartment. I have just slept the night away, and man, and I, am I excited for today's episode because I am in such a good mood today my friends i am in such a minecraft mood and i've been thinking about getting on kingdom craft all freaking morning long cannot wait to get cracking with you guys today how is everyone today speaking of which i hope you are all having an amazing day wherever you are in the world and man in the previous episode of kingdom craft we were hanging out with iskal 85 just chilling my awesome swedish brother from another swedish mama we were just chilling on the server i don't actually think we achieved that much in the previous episode but we had a really really awesome time with this girl but in this episode my friends I want to try and focus on making something beautiful I want to get cracking on the Mountain Kingdom railway station which needs a ton of love today we're going to be working on that build uh, and we're going to do as much as we can but guys look at this Every time I log into this server, it gets even more beautiful than it was before. That's one of the things I love most about it, man. Look at this amazing, beautiful house. This was constructed by Wells Knight. As you can see, the roof has been approved by Cubfan135. And I gotta say, this is an absolutely glorious build. I love it, man. Check it out. This is a beautiful little home that uh, Wells Knight has made for himself. He's got a little kitchen area over here, which is really cool. And I really like what he's done with his bed. I might stay this design actually it's really really nice uh, beautiful man I absolutely love this look at this we've got we've got these little trees on the inside too it just feels really homely in here you know really really nice work by Wells Knight over there beautiful stuff check it out man stress monsters also been working on her apartment slowly but surely coming together look at this she's got a little bedroom this is very cool oh and look at this Oh, she's used string down here to be able to place carpet above it to make a little shelf. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna steal that too, man. This is, man, I learn so many new techniques every time I come into this server. It's one of the reasons I love it so much, man. Check it out, we've got a nice comfy bench. I love all the escalification. It is looking beautiful, man. Cannot wait to see the roof get stuck on this sucker. It's gonna be beautiful. This little suburban district of the Mountain Kingdom is just turning out beautiful, isn't it? We've got myself and Python's apartment over here. We've got my dog house. We've got uh, Cub Fan's house over here. Iskal's house over here. We've got uh, Acrylics Blacksmith and, and uh, Taylor on, in this direction. Oh man, what an amazing little suburb it is. It's really come out something beautiful. And of course, we, let's not forget about Bevo's amazing little apartment that he built for himself back there. This is just, I, I'm starting to really love this part of the Mountain Kingdom, you know. It feels really suburban. It feels like alive, you know. It feels like these people people living in here, uh, which there are. So that is absolutely fantastic. Now, in the previous episode, Iskal and I were working inside of this cathedral and we were just working on setting up some pews, trying to like figure out how to uh, how this cathedral should turn out in the end. I think it's looking very beautiful. I think we did a very good job on it. Iskal's done an incredible job on the walls, which look fantabulous. Uh, and we've also basically take we've changed these walls to just to stone walls, giving it a much better texture. I think before it was solid stone bricks, and I think it just looks a lot better now. I think the cathedral is pretty much close to finished now. I think Iskal still wants to work a little bit on the statue but it is looking glorious my friends is there anything else for me to show you here i think there's just yeah there's one more really cool thing that i want to show you before we start cracking on with today's episode uh, i spent about two two and a half hours with wells knight and iskal in the bacon mine a couple of days ago because we ran we actually ran out of resources this server runs out of resources i'd say once every seven to ten days we get completely rinsed of iron we get completely rinsed of stone of cobblestone of everything that we need to craft so every now and then we have to go and go back to the bacon mine and do some speed mining and we actually had to move the bacon mine to a new location you can see over there it's actually been shifted i think it was in this position before but we shifted it 100 blocks south uh, to a new location so we've been we've managed to stock up on a whole bunch of new resources now take 
take a look at this a little structure. This was put together by Wells Knight and Cub Fan, and this, my friends, is a beautiful piece of work. Essentially what this is, it's a law certification station, basically. So when you guys uh, give us your lore to be added into the Library of Kingdom Craft here up there, what we have to do is bring a book to the certification station. Okay, check it out, and we're going to throw the book in there. Boop! And boop, there pops up a book and quill. So we can now insert your guys' lore into a book and quill. It's essentially uh, an auto book and quill making system, which is incredibly awesome. Um, and it almost feels to me like it's a modded thing, right? It almost feels like a, like a modded design, which is absolutely awesome. I am not good enough at this game to be able to explain to you guys how that has been made. So I suggest you go check out Wells and Cub Knight's videos to figure out how this thing was made because it is a, a thing of beauty, really. And I, I love the mechanics behind it. It is beautiful. It's so simple on the outside, but uh, I, can, I can assure you that the mechanics underneath are far from simple. So that is a really, really awesome. Love that thing. Now, let's get a quick view of the Swamp Kingdom while we're here uh, because there is something awesome that is popping up all the way in the distance. It's got a nice Swamp Village is over here you can see it's looking beautiful with the mushroom and everything but have a look at that acrylic is working really hard on completing a witch farm and as you can see it is an insanely complex build looking a beautiful what acrylic is going to be doing is turning this witch farm into a giant swamp tavern slash uh, hotel type thing it's going to be amazing i just cannot wait to see how it's going to turn out but as you guys can see that is where most of our iron has gone is into this witch farm again this is way too complicated for me to explain to you guys how it works so i suggest you pop over to acrylic's channel and go and watch his latest videos to see how he's been setting up that witch farm it is absolutely insane uh, and wow, just another one of the many amazing builds that are popping up all over Kingdom Craft right now. Just having the best time on the server at the moment, guys, because it is starting to come together something crazy. Now, I have spent a lot of time off camera with Iskal working on the interior of this railway station. If you guys can recall to the last episode, this place was looking super janktastic. Uh, what I have had achieved before was I dug out the foundations for all of the railway lines here. As you can see, we've got the roofs running above the railway lines just to create that sort of nice rail railway station effect. I'm not sure how the railway stations are in the US, but uh, in, in Europe anyway, we do have these really high roofs that sit above the railway lines and they are usually accompanied by these really awesome cross beams. Um, and what we are doing here is using these, these dark oak wood logs as the cross beams which i think fits in really nicely with the sort of medieval feel of the mountain kingdom you know we didn't want to make it too fancy we wanted to try and keep it uh, as medieval as we possibly could and as you guys can see it's looking absolutely beautiful man and if you can look up there you might be seeing a little bit of light and that's because we have a very interesting uh, light set up above the platform lines over here let me try and find some dirt in these chests Oh man, I'm so sorry, Eskel, about these chests. Uh, one of Eskel's greatest pet hates is random work chests all over the place. And I'm a big culprit of making those, man. I'm so sorry, my friend. I promise when I finish this build, I will clean up those chests. You have my my word as a cyber dog and as a South African, okay? And the South African's word is serious business. Uh, but let's just get up here, guys, and have a... Oh my goodness. All right, this is not working out, rendiggity dog. Stop noobing out here, man. All right, there we go. Have a look at this, guys. We have a beautiful little light system up here, and I'm not sure why it's not functioning. Eskal put together a little bit of redstone for me that made all of these redstone lamps trigger at different times to make it look like um, the lights were sort of broken or sort of flashing as, as they might do in, uh, in a train station, which I think is really cool. Uh, I guess the only problem, one of the problems that we encountered actually was that by doing so, we might have uh, jeopardized the integrity of v Vivo LJ's um, um, ice farm which is pretty bad. But here you go, guys. Here you can see there's a rail cart. Let's have a look at the redstone that Eskal put together. Okay, so we have these detector rails all the way along the top of these redstone lamps. And I think the way that this is set up is that, what did we actually pick up there? Did we pick up a powered rail there? I think we picked up a powered rail, right? Hmm. 
Let's just have a look. What kind of rail did we pick up? Oh, it might have just been a normal rail. You guys can hear the water going on around here. And I believe, yeah, this is a passageway uh, for the ice farm, actually, I think. Oh, no. Yeah, we have uh, damaged the integrity of the ice farm here, as you guys can see. This is actually the exit hole for the ice farm, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to have to do a little bit of fix-up work, I think, over here. Oh man, I'm so sorry about this, Bevo. It looks like I have broken your ice farm while working on this uh, this build with Isco. I think I'm going to try and repair it now, though. All right, my friends, I think I have figured out how to repair this ice delivery chute. of source of water right in this location. It's going to flow around the corner, and this is where the ice flows down from the ice farm above. So that block of ice is going to go all the way over here, and then it's going to drop down here onto that hopper, and you can collect the ice from downstairs. Okay, so we, I have repaired the damage. I am so sorry, Bevo, for breaking your freaking ice farm. That is totally my bad, man. And uh, yeah, it is all back to, to working conditions now, though. So let's get all of that shame covered. Now, what I want to try and do is figure out how to get this thing working again. I'm going to stick a block of redstone on that powered rail like that. That's how Iskal's done it on all of the other ones. There we go. And if we get our minecart in this position like this, boom! Okay, there we go. It's going to go. So there it goes. You can see it's going really, really slowly. It goes back and forth. And as you can see, what it is doing, it is triggering these redstone lamps as it goes past and it's also in equal distances between the powered rails so the minecart travels a little bit slower here and there and the effect that this gives is just magnificent guys let me just get down here and do a little bit of repair work let me just get the slab back in place so that we can get the full effect of how i wanted this to actually turn out i asked iskal to help me out with these lights and he came up with this really really cool design uh, basically trying to make it look like as i was mentioning earlier the lights in in this very ancient railway station are sort of flickering right almost as if it's candles up there uh it, it does give that sort of candle effect have a look at this guys look at that right isn't that beautiful Oh, I just absolutely love it. it. It looks like there are candles or something up there uh, slowly burning or, or sort of lights flickering uh, back and forth. It just looks freaking beautiful. Now, it looks like we've got a couple of blocks missing up there, though. So that's going to have to be a little bit of repair work to be done. But that is essentially uh, this this design over here, guys, is, is essentially how we are going to be building the individual roofs for each of the lines in the station. Uh, which I think has turned out really, really nice. Let me just get up here and see what the jazz is cracking. Yeah, it looks like there are some blocks missing here. Uh, let's just reveal the shame. And yeah, it looks like we have got stone blocks missing above here. So let's get this fixed like that. We can get the slabbage back in now. And basically, I'm hoping that this redstone... Uh, this redstone light that's coming from here is going to be enough to stop spawning uh, up here on top of the rafters. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but it should be. We're going to have to repeat exactly the same design on this uh, on this side, on this side again, uh, which is going to be crazy. And as you guys can see, what we've done is we've gone for dark oak wood stairs into uh, iron bars, into stone uh, slabbage into dark uh, dark oak wood stairs again and that creates this nice little sort of arching effect which i think looks really really badass uh, we're going to have to make one of these redstone contraptions for each of these lines however so that's going to be what how many more of these things do we need to do one uh one three five seven more of this exact design that we've got going on over here. Uh, so that's going to be a whole bunch of grind work that we're going to have to complete. Um, I also want to draw your attention to this a beautiful little section that we have up here. These are the support cross beams that are running across the station in this direction. And the beams or the cross beams are running through them. So these dark oak wood logs are sort of holding up the roof structure, I suppose, or making it rigid at least. And those are running through what is almost like a cog uh, inside of the wall, uh, which is really cool. And this is a pretty simple design. This is just using uh, stone brick stairs in a very clever way. And actually, there's another lane over here. So it's actually going to be 11 of these red stone lines that we're going to have to make. But you guys can imagine when all 11 are made and sort of glowing and glittering like that in the rooftops, it's going to look absolutely freaking glorious, man. Oh, baby, it is going to look awesome. Well, I think we should probably crack on and start working on this line. Lots of work to do in here today, guys. So we better stop dilly-dallying and get straight to it.
It's called, dude, you've come at just the right time, man. I was just settling down to do some railway crafting with the cyber dogs. What's going on? I'm practicing my aim. Last time I practiced on you. And, yeah, uh, and you hit, and this time around you can't even hit that creeper. That headshot, baby. Boom. That's all of that CSGO practice over there, dude. That's what that's yep. is kicking in. Yep. Dude, you know what I've noticed around here? Aside from all of the awesome new buildings that have popped up, Look at all of the towers, man. Cubfan has done an amazing freaking job, hasn't he? I know, it's crazy. And they look so gorgeous towards the Halcyon Day skies. Did you install them yet, by the way? No, I haven't installed those skies yet. Oh, but Jeez, geez, I, I can't believe that he did all of them. Uh, the last time I was on, I saw that a couple of them had been done. I was like, oh, baby, that is looking awesome. But now, it looks like he's done most, or like, finished all of them. And they all, yep. they all uh, are in exactly the same style. They're all like... Uh, they're just beautiful, man. Really, really beautiful. This and is a cup fan for you. He's crazy mm. when it comes to build completion. He's so good at it. He's so good at it. it. Even that one in the background there, like or the one way behind Bevo's house. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's even finished those ones at the back. Yep. Wow, that, that's just crazy. That is just amazing. I, I love this server so much, man. I was just telling the Cyber Dogs how much I love this server because it's so beautiful and because of the people that are on it. And... Uh, Cub fans just made me love me. it even more. Oh man, yeah. got a tear in my eye and a creeper following me. <laughs> Don't let it blow up, bud. Don't so dude, you up. were telling me that you are working on something, something interesting, mm -hmm. right? Yes, I'm working in, in the nether. Um, I started to create a, I wouldn't call it a nether hub because that would be a shame because nether hubs, they are supposed to be epic and grand and I've just basically built a prison. <laughs> but it, it's at least something to keep us safe. Do you wanna, you wanna see it? I definitely want to see this, it, man. You, you're is, looking. That's why you're following me. Uh, that's why I'm following. I'm not following you because you have a sexy ass. Oh, dang it! <laughs> <laughs> I hoped. Oh my goodness! See? Wow! The last time I was in here was two days ago, uh, mining glowstone. Mm -hmm. I spent like an hour down here getting glowstone. And by the way, guys, there's no glowstone around here because we've sucked it all up like hoovers. Yeah, and where is it going? I wonder because I have no idea where we have we we never have glowstone. I Dude, have no idea where it is. This is looking beautiful. What wood is this? This is acacia, the the bestest wood ever, together with stone bricks. Oh my goodness! You like goodness. it? It's beautiful. It's like you know what it looks like down here. It looks like the Nether, the evil of the Nether, has literally sucked out the life from the wood. Exactly. Yep. It's so right? dry, right? It's, it's so dry. It's so dry, man. Damn, it's making my lips dry. Hold on, I need a sip of water. <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is looking amazing, dude. I'm loving what you're doing down here, dude. So, so what you see all the glass, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The idea is that on glass, no mobs will spawn. Okay. Um, and so everything is covered in glass so that we don't get spawns in here. Crap. Oh, oh, headshot, baby. Wow, he could have destroyed the glass. I haven't done the, the ceiling yet. Okay, uh, okay. Obviously, though, you, you know, I'm going to work on the on the walls and everything. It's looking pretty plain and pretty boring right now. But I'm mm -hmm. having fun with it. I'm just enjoying myself. I was just about to grab some obsidian. Obsidian. This is beautiful, dude. Now, now, what is the purpose? This is what I'm uh, trying to understand. Right, so you're what right. Is, so you're what is the noob. purpose? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I forget. Sometimes I forget. I beg, I beg your pardon. It's okay. It's, uh, you're, you're forgiven. So Nether Hub is basically the idea of having this here is obviously first to to get safe. So when you get in here, you shouldn't be attacked by stupid smelling pigmen. Yep. Um, nor stupid screaming ghasts. You mean you mean flying point. screaming devil babies? Exactly, devil babies. Yeah. Yes. That's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is that it's it's going to act as some kind of navigation thing. Okay. Um, so, so I know, I speak about this in the episode where I built this um, a little bit, but I know that we have been talking about Nether Kingdom, but I figured it's so it's going to be so long down, far down the line that we got to have something simple first. Yeah. So basically um, you've got a portal in each, like north, south, east, west, and then that portal takes you to uh, one of the other kingdoms that's far away or something like that, right? Well, not necessarily. I got a better better plan than that. I just sounded Russian again, stupid Ren dog. Uh, <laughs> always when I speak with you, that happens. I got a better plan than that. Hear me out. This is mm -hmm. going to need some of your, or require some of your railway expertise. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm listening. Now you I'm got my attention. Points of interests, yeah? 
POIs to be fancy. No, don't, no. <laughs> why? You gotta kill, why you gotta kill the vibes? It was terrible. Okay. It's gonna be gray and dead in here, okay? <laughs> no growing trees. There's okay. no life in here. There's just stone. It's like a prison. Anyway, yes. Mm -hmm. Back to the story. Uh, the idea is that POIs, point of interest, will have railway connections from up here. Okay. Um, and I'm yes. thinking something pretty simple. Now I'm gonna prettify this. Obviously, this is looking pretty crappy as it is, just gray. But uh, yeah. I'm thinking like prison exits, like this. And in each one of these, there would be a minecart dispenser that takes you to a POI. For example, a jungle biome. For example, a mesa biome. For example, a desert where we can dig sand. It's all about easing our process in collecting all the materials we need for, mm -hmm. for we shall rise kingdoms. I love it, man. I love it. And I'll be happy to set up the railway lines for you to do that. For it's going to be a grind and, and, and you're the perfect man for it, you know? Oh, man, it's going to be beautiful. And uh, yeah, whenever we need to go somewhere, we can come here and it'll take us exactly where we need to go as well as take us to some of the kingdoms that might be much further away from um, from center, right? From spawn. Mm -hmm. and uh, I got a problem though, dude. Here. <clears throat> Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> I'll fix your problem. Okay. The, the yeah. doors downstairs will simply be etho doors, I'm thinking. Three by threes with a hole in the middle. Yeah. Um, and they will be just, you know, to exit out to the <laughs> nether if you want to go hunt glowstone or quartz or whatever you want to do. Cool. What's your problem? Uh, this portal is not in the middle of the square. I know, I know. I, I'm, I'm fixing it. It's, That's why I needed the obsidian. It's killing my OCD, man. It's killing me! This is beautiful work, though, uh, it's called, And, uh, actually, while we're recording this, <clears throat> you've just finished recording the episode where you build that thing, so I haven't had a chance to watch it yet, but I'm gonna watch it the moment that it comes out, man. Because it that, that looks like a beautiful build over there. I might it's, out, it's gonna be out now when, when we see this. Okay, awesome. <laughs> when we talk. It's so weird. I know, it's 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 like inception going on over here, yes, man. It's inception. I incept your videos and you No, never mind. Like if we if we were professional, right? If we were professional YouTubers, I would be like, um, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I, I saw that. I saw that in the last episode uh, that you did. It it was amazing. <laughs> yep. But the reality is that um, we're not professionals. It's, it's actually not even live yet, so we have to try and like look into the future, kind of thing, right? Exactly. Which is kind of cool. Inception. That was a good movie. Inception. That was an awesome movie. I like that. Yeah, it was a good movie, and it's one of my favorite actors. Actors also. I love. Yeah. I love me a little bit of Leonardo, man. When do you think he will get his Oscar? Has he not got an Oscar? Didn't he get an Oscar for Departed? No. no. What? I don't think so. No. Isn't it a big topic on the interwebs on Reddit and other weird pages like that that Leonardo DiCaprio has never got an Oscar? I'm pretty sure it's even a hashtag. <laughs> Give DiCaprio sure. an Oscar hashtag. Leonardo DiCaprio no Oscar. Yeah, something like that. Well, if anyone deserves one, it's probably him. I would, He's good. I would say. Yeah, I like him. His dashing good looks. Oh, I, w I want to tell you a funny story about Leonardo DiCaprio. I went on a um, on a choir tour when I was very small. Uh, you may laugh, but I was in the South African Youth Choir, okay, when I was 15. And I was a pretty good little singer. Um, all the, you know, if you, you, if you want to get ladies, let me give some advice to you younger cyber dogs out there, man. If you want to get ladies, join the choir. <laughs> I think it's awesome because all because all the ladies love to sing and they love a they love a guy who is confident enough to look uh, like a, a football jock player in the face and say you know what screw you dude I'm gonna go and sing and you can kiss my ass ladies love that man so anyway I joined the choir because I was a pretty good singer and because I wanted to get some ladies you know what I'm saying <laughs> uh, and we went to Europe on a tour um, it was a like a it was long man it was like a six week tour we went to loads of different countries i talk about this tour in one of my survival episodes um but w we went to venice um as one of the one of the locations mm -hmm. and when when i got there uh we got off the bus and then you have to take these like ferry boats right to go to the city <clears throat> as i can remember and as i got onto the ferry boat this Italian dude comes up to me and he's like, Ah, Leonardo DiCaprio! Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio! And 
you know, he obviously thought that I looked like Leonardo DiCaprio. I was so, man, I was so stoked. <laughs> I was like, yeah, baby, it is Leonardo DiCaprio. That's right. All you ladies in the choir, did you hear that? This Italian thinks that I'm Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> and he's Italian. And he's, he's Italian. About lady magnets. <laughs> exactly. Now, now, to this day, I'm not sure whether he was saying that uh, to try and get a really big tip from me or if he was just being nice, but uh, I took it. I took it. Hey, don't don't question things that doesn't need to be questioned, right? Exactly, exactly. I, I believe that you've been compared to, uh, I believe something along the lines of if George Clooney and Brad Pitt had a baby, it would be Esco. Is that mm -hmm. right? That That is my own... Uh, explanation of my looks yes oh oh so not not vain not modest or vain at all i see no no uh, just honest you know oh, just yeah. honest oh wait, fair enough fair enough i'm sure your girlfriend would agree uh-huh <laughs> yep and many others with her oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> all the ladies around the world baby and <laughs> and i gotta say i i agree to you dude you you're you're super hot mm -hmm. yeah mm. that's what i'm telling you the, this is be nice to Isco week Oh, is it? Is that after the stream yesterday? Yeah, 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 yeah. Iskal came to help me and the Cyberdogs build the Cyberdog server hub, and uh, and I and he, he and I got greeted with "You damn Swede." Yeah, the first thing I said to him was, "Oh, hello, you damn Swede." It's always "You damn Swede." It's it's never like I. You know what? I long for the day when it's "You pink Swede." <laughs> you pink Swede. I like pink. Yeah. Hey, hey, real men like real men love pink. That's what exactly. my dad always told me. Uh, my stepfather is one of the few men on earth that I know that can rock a pair of pink trousers like nobody's business. Man, pink he gets even. he gets those pink trousers on and he gets like a, a baby blue shirt on and he just looks like a pimp, dude. Wow. He it looks... sounds like it. I, that's how pimps <laughs> looks. <laughs> Yeah, that does sound quite pimptastic, but he knows how, he he can rock it, man. He, and and there's very few people that can do that. Mm -hmm. When I turned 18, he gave me one of his pink trousers, as uh -huh. as, as like a he's like you, you Ren Dog, you've now become a man. Yeah. You're a man now, <laughs> and now you shall wear the pink that, trousers. That is so amazing. <laughs> and did you did you wear them while you were in the choir? Um, I try to wear them. I gotta say, I, I just looked like, a, I don't know, like a very strange, um, I, I looked like I was about to go into a convenience store with a knife and go ham on people around me. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't, it, it, it wasn't a good look. It wasn't a good look for me. But hey, it was worth a try. <laughs> for sure. Yep. That's another thing. If you, if you don't try things, you'll never know, right? Exactly. Exactly. Now, uh, when... Now that I'm a little bit older, <clears throat> I you know went, not to try. <laughs> I know not to try. And I went to the shop a couple years ago. I bought about 15 of exactly the same shirt and exactly the same jeans. <laughs> and and my and my uh, my closet is is now like Dexter's laboratory. Remember that cartoon? Yes, one yeah. of my favorite actually. He like he like opens his closet and he just has exactly the same shirt. Uh, he has exactly the same suit, like the, like a hundred of them. That's pretty much how I rock and roll these days. I can appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Uh, I love it. I love it. Hold on. Do you have a flint and steel on you? Nope. Do you have a piece of gravel? <clears throat> no. Do you have something on you? Uh, Do you have pants on? <laughs> I, no, I'm, na I'm oh, naked. Oh, I'm okay. naked. Okay. That's how I roll, though, dude. I don't need no stankin' armor. <laughs> Brent Dog was killed by a zombert pigman. <laughs> <laughs> you need a feather falling bo boots, though, to be honest. It's terrible without that if you end up rolling around. Dude! Yesterday! Yeah. <laughs> terrible story. Uh oh. I... Uh, do you, are you recording? Yeah. Yesterday... I... Oh wow, I don't, I don't even know where to start, okay? I don't this like where so, this is... I don't like um, the way this has started. I'm sorry, this is just so sad. It, it, it starts a tear wrinkle in my eye. Is that a thing? 
a tear anyway. wrinkle. Yes. It is now. It is now. No, <laughs> dude. No. <laughs> 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 what happened? No. <laughs> no. This is why we don't have any glowstone. People Ugh. carry it in their inventory and jump into lava. I was tunneling through a wall and I tunneled over a, a one block opening that dropped down into a lava a lava lake. And as I was falling, it was a long fall. It was about a three second fall. Uh -huh. I just knew that was it. There was no, <laughs> there was no ways I was surviving that one. Ender pearls on your bar, buddy. That wouldn't even help, man. It was uh, over a, a lava pit surrounded by walls of netherrack. <sighs> well, anyway, I, anyway. I would say I'm sorry, but not really. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you were saying. I was saying, yes, uh, yesterday I logged onto the server and I was going to get a few things ready, um, ready to roll. And I ended pearl into the stupid lava pit in the middle of the town. No, you did not. Yes, I did. And I die and, and everything got evaporated by the stupid lava. <laughs> and then, How and much then, did you lose? Everything like I lost a stack of or uh, an inventory half an inventory full of glass that I had cooked up um, Which was probably the worst all my tools all my boots everything just boom <sighs> gone Rambo gone Anyway, so I go to the uh, to the end and I start to redo all my stuff mm -hmm. it Took me about I'd say one and a half hour to get everything back to standard then mm -hmm. I went and I dug up some new sand mm -hmm. um, And then I I started to to do to do my episode and then I felt tired, so I went to bed, and I forgot to log out. And I woke up, and I was dead again. Uh, All the stuff had gone. Dude. <laughs> what the he That yeah. is some serious noobing out going on over there, dude. Says the guy who just fell into a lava ocean. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm telling you, that lava pit in the center of the town, it's going. Oh, the, this lava pit is going so fast, it's going to make uh, the people's eyes eyes bleed, dude. Mm -hmm. Seriously, because I've died in here, you've died in here, I think a lot of other people have died in here. And yes. Yep. We need, it needs to be turned into something that is not deadly, you know? Yep. yep. I, I totally agree, man. I totally agree. Iskal, I, I am shattered, man. I, I am uh, devastated by my loss. I've lost all of my tools that I was going to use for today's episode. Um, I've lost all a lot of freaking blocks that I was going to use also, which is just painful. Um, I've managed to do a little bit of work up here with the cyber dogs. What I've shown them is the beautiful design that we put together uh, uh, together on the server at the beginning of the week. But cyber dogs, I'm going to have to end the episode prematurely because I'm going to have to go back to the end. I'm going to have to do a bunch of grinding, get all of my tools back, and uh, carry on in the next episode on working on this route. But Eskal, thank you for joining me for the second half of my episode. Making Thanks. it, making Thank it nice you. and entertaining for us, even though I haven't achieved much other than losing all of my jazz. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's an achievement, though. That's an achievement. It is an achievement, but Cyber Dogs, thank you for watching, man. I'm so sorry for dying and for cutting this episode short, but uh, you know these things happen. This is Minecraft. I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, let's go. Bye.